Welcome back to this tutorial series on implementing numerical methods in Python. And in today's video, we're going to be going over Newton Raston's method, better known as, in simpler terms, Newton's method. It is an extremely root, uh, excuse me, extremely powerful root finding algorithm. And so the basic overview of the method is as follows: given a good enough initial guess to the actual root, it creates a tangent line at that value to compute the x-intercept to approximate the next root value. So what exactly does this mean? Here we have uh, an, an illustration of the uh, function in use. So we have our function, we have our initial guess, which is denoted by x of n. What we do here with our initial guess is we take the function of this value and then we compute the slope at this value. And we find at what, excuse me, we, then we create a tangent line as we see here by the dotted lines. And we see it. where does this intersect the x axis? And at that point, we then create our next good enough initial uh, guess value. And then simply we just repeat the process. Then we create the slope, make another tangent line. Where does this intersect the x-axis? And make this our next uh, initial guess. And then repeat the process until we find the root to a given tolerance. And so as you see, this method is far superior than the bisection method as it converges much quicker because we are actually using the slope of the function to write it along. However, the method requires that the first der derivative is known. So that is the only uh, downfall. And so the simple equation of newton raphson's method is given as follows. x sub n plus 1, which is denoted as the next initial guess value, is equal to x sub n, which is the current guess value, minus f of x sub n divided by f prime f of x sub n, where f prime is the first derivative. The term good enough is arbitrary. For some functions, the initial guess can be off by a few decimal, decimal points, but for some, it must be within an extreme precision such as uh, 1e to the negative 9. If the initial guess is not good enough, our method will diverge into infinity, and it will in, uh, basically involve an infinite loop. Because Newton's method requires a close enough initial guess value, the bisection method is frequently used to feed into Newton's method after finding a close enough root value to a given tolerance. So now that we've given a brief overview of the method, we're going to actually implement this in Python. So to begin with, we're going to say def Newton, give it our initial value, our function, and then our uh, derivative, a maximum amount of iterations, and a tolerance. And so to begin with, we're simply going to take our x sub n and equal to our initial value. And to make sure we're not going to enter into an infinite loop, just in case if a, a poor initial value is given, we're going to count our iterations. So we're going to say while true, what we're going to do is we're going to say our x sub n1 is equal to our x sub n minus our function at x sub n following this equation divided by the derivative of our x sub n. And then what we do is we update our iterations and then we need to check to see if the difference between our current uh, guess and our next guess is below the tolerance level. Oops, no parentheses in Python. So if this is the case, then we break out. LFR iterations is equal to our max iter, then we break as well. But before that, we're going to say printout maximum iterations reached, and we can actually just return negative 1 on this instance. So after outside the loop, we're going to print, we're going to say iterations needed, and then we're simply going to return our x sub n. So this is simply Newton's method uh, as derived from this equation. 
So now let's actually test this in action. We can say def function, take an x value, it's going to return 3 times x raised to the third power plus 3. And then now we're going to take the derivative function. And the derivative function is simply 9 times x to the second power. And so, so here we have a graph of our function, 3x to the third power plus 3. And we can see here, if we wanted to plot the derivative, we can do this in blue. And so here we have the derivative. It is a uh, parabola. And so now we, the approximate root of this value is negative 1. So we can print out, we can actually first get our estimated root value from Newton. Our initial guess, let's say, it would be uh, negative 0 0.5. I'm going to pass in our function and then our derivative. Our maximum iteration, let's say, which is uh, 10. And our tolerance of 1e to the negative 15, or let's say 14. We're going to print out root Newton print out the string value of our root and we're going to print out function at root Newton value string of the function of our root now let's run this. So here we have maximum iterations reached. And so we might uh, actually have uh, an, an initial guess that is not close enough. So let's actually increase this to 100. So it is correct. Our initial guess was not close enough. And so we need to adjust this to let's say 0 0.8. Our initial guess is not close enough. So now let's increase this to 0 0.9. Not close enough either. 99999. So after debugging for a little bit, I found our error. Uh, it was a simple mistake. I forgot to actually update our x of n value to equal the next iteration. So the whole uh, purpose of the function, excuse me, of the method is to take our initial guess and approximate a better initial guess. And then what we do is we assign our current initial guess equal to the next initial guess. And we go through this loop and loop to find the next better initial guess. So here I'm going to say our x of n, our current initial guess, is going to be equal to our x of n1, where x of n1 uh, refers to the x of n plus 1. So here we have it. Now let's test out our function. So we need 44 iterations of Newton's method to find the approximate root within e to the 12th uh, for tolerance. Now let's change this to let's say 0.75. We needed 62 iterations, so it still worked. Now 0.55 as an initial guess. We needed more iterations. Now let's change this to something like zero. And so a division by zero, that probably occurred as we can see. Now let's say uh, 0 0.1. So we needed 86 iterations. And so uh, this function is well defined in the sense of how we can choose any kind of initial guess by the looks of it that is remotely close and it will uh, approximate and converge to the root. However, if we were to use the cosine function, for example, um, so if you were to use the cosine uh, function, we can say import math and our function would be math.cosine of x. The der derivative of our function is simply sine, uh, negative sine, so return negative. 
Now let us plot cosine of x and plot the derivative negative sine of x in blue. We have here, so let us try to approximate this root value of cosine. And so let us give an initial guess of, let's say, 1. Let's feed this in. And so it actually did find uh, the root given an initial uh, guess of 1. Let us try 0 0.75. It did find the root again. Let us try 0 0.55. It did find the root. What about 0. Point? Now let's go uh, over this hump and become negative. We'll probably converge to this one. So we converge to this initial root value. And so as we can see here, our initial guess needs to be sufficiently close for a function, especially for functions that have a lot of roots. So any functions that go in and out of the x-axis we need to have uh, a very close enough root that way we can actually converge to it instead of either converging to infinity or converging to a different root value itself. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go over implementing the derivative. So as noted before, the main crutch of the method is that the uh, first derivative must be, uh, must be known. Well. What would happen in an instance where we know our function but we don't know the derivative derivative and so in our last video we implemented the center divided difference method and so simply what i'm going to do is i'm going to import this method into uh, our file and so i'm going to delete this i'm going to say from derivative import derivative so now what i'm going to say is we're going to say if we don't know the first derivative, we're going to pass in none. So we need to check to see. We're going to say if param derivative is none else. So if it's none, that means we don't know it. And we're going to use our approximation as derived in our previous episodes. We're going to pass in our x, and we're going to pass in our function. And so there we have it. Excuse me. This needs to be x of n. So now let's actually uh, test this out. Enter in function. Okay. Hold on real quick. I need to. Get all this out. Now let's run this. And as we can see, it worked. So this is a cool way of actually approximating uh, the derivative in an application such as the Newton's method. So hopefully you guys have learned a lot about Newton's method and how to derive it and use it in an application such as this, and even uh, uh, have a backup for the crutch of the main of the method, which is knowing the first derivative. And so we've derived the first derivative in our previous episode. And so hopefully you guys have learned a lot. So stay tuned for future videos. Yeah.